Okay. All right, so just in the East Draxo School for special, special needs children here in Bhutan, uh, where we've got about 70 to 80 students studying at the moment and six members of staff. This is the current situation for their cooking and eating. So this is some of their cooking area. This is the other cooking area here. And uh, they mainly eat outside uh, unless it's raining and they'll eat indoors, but they don't have an actual dining room canteen area at the moment. So you can see that when I saw this, I felt very strongly that I needed to help to improve this situation for them. It's really not acceptable. And so now if we turn over here, we can see the, um, with the help of the German Embassy and our charity, Opening Your Heart to Bhutan, uh, now we're building this wonderful dedicated uh, dining room. It'll have a dining room going uh, like one, two, three. That'll be the dining room area, which will be big enough for all the students. And then beyond it will be a kitchen and storage area. And this should be finished by the end of 2017, ready for the start of the new uh, school year in 2018. So as you can see, I'm very happy that we've really managed to change what was not a very good situation for the benefit of these students. And, and so they were eating outside. Yes, and also this is not very safe, this kind of cooking situation. As you can see, there's all kinds of issues with it. So um, cooking in this way and then eating outside is not very yeah. safe. And there's high rainfall here. High rainfall at certain times of the year and also very cold mm. at certain times of the year because we're still at altitude here. So yeah. um, uh, I think it's very important that they have this, you know, every school should have a dining room and a canteen, right? So, <laughs> so I think we need to make sure they have one too. Uh, but and we're, we're nearly there now, isn't and, it, Carl? And, and these, we've nearly done it, haven't we? So we're on our way, yeah. And, and, and these facilities, of yeah. course, should be accessible to the students. Can you tell us yeah. something about how you're going to do the wheelchair access well, to these places? Well, we still have one more building project for this school before it's complete. Then it'll have classrooms, two hostels, dining hall, canteen and storage area. But we also need to build an administration bot with a library and a spare room for perhaps doing physiotherapy for some of the children. So that's a final building project. And we imagine that that project uh, will be quite near the dining hall. It might even be in this area here. Mm -hmm. And that's a final uh, project that we need to fundraise for now. Once that is completed, we've raised the funds, we can start that, we can complete it. Then the wheelchair access for the whole complex will be finalized. Uh, you can see up there, we've already put wheelchair access with proper railings for safety in at the top of the school. Once the remaining complex of the school is completed, we will extend that wheelchair access around the school because 15 to 20% of the children here definitely are in a wheelchair. And some of them have uh, some mobility problems uh, beyond that 20%. Uh, but then they, all the facilities of the school should be fully available to all the students. Mm. And um, really, uh, this is a mountainous area. So yeah. if they can get used to using their wheelchairs mm. here, mm. they should be better outside. Yes, and of course it's very nice for the school because it's another example of how the children help each other in these mm. schools. So because if somebody's in a wheelchair, obviously they need somebody to, to push them in the wheelchair, around the wheelchair access. Mm. So, uh, you know, often the children with greater mobility problems have a friend who then supports them, mm. you know, using the wheelchair access. Mm. So, yeah, very important. Ah.